Hello, Spartan Nation. I'm Dr. Arnell, and I'm excited to welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. I'm so thankful you are here. I've been missing you, waiting for you, and I cannot wait to get back to in-person school. So, let's talk about a few things inside that how we're going to take care of each other and make this year incredible. So come on in, Spartan Nation. Let's have a great year together. All right, guys, now that we're in your high school, what's the first thing you should do? You should stop and tell the teacher in front of you right now how awesome they are. So let's do that. On the count of three, let's say you're awesome. One, two, three. Did you say it? I hope you did, because you have an incredible teaching, a teacher standing in front of you right now. They're here to take care of you, to support you, to help you grow academically, and to help you grow socially and emotionally. So you're gonna hear some things on our video today that speak to things that are important to all of us so that we all can possibly follow some new rules, some new regulations that will ensure that we have an incredible learning environment for, the incredible, for this entire year. So things like masks, find a system so that you can have your mask on anytime you're in the hallway, anytime you're in class, have a system. We want you to be safe, we want our, our faculty to be safe, we want our staff to be safe. So please, Understand this is all thing all the things we're asking you to do are for all the for the betterment of all of us. To minimize contact, we are asking all faculty, staff, and students to stay to the right as we walk and talk and navigate our hallways. To ensure we reduce the spread of COVID, we ask all Spartans to maintain a social distance of six feet and to not congregate in the halls prior to school, during the passing periods, or during dismissal. Face masks are required to be worn at all times to ensure the safety of Spartan Nation. This includes before school, during school, and after school, as well as after school events. Capacity limits have been developed for commonly shared spaces during the school day. That includes 100 in the large and small gyms, 60 in the learning commons, 12 in all restrooms, and 100 in the auditorium. COVID symptom signs will be throughout Francis Howell Central to allow intelligent decision-making when to stay home. Hand-washing signs are posted in every restroom to promote healthy hygiene. During arrival, following our district requirements, no one is allowed in Francis Howell Central until 6.50 a.m., and students will be asked to go directly to first-hour class. All students must be supervised by sponsors and coaches if entering before 6.50 a.m. for any club or sport meeting. Prior to 6.50 a.m., all doors will be locked and faculty will need to use key fobs to gain access. Sorry, friends can't join you to socialize. They must go on to their first hour. No congregating, finish eating, and go directly to first hour. To support a social distance dismissal from Francis Hall Central, we will alter which floor is dismissed each week. For example, first floor leaving at 2.15 p.m. on a week one, second floor 2.20 p.m., and flip every week. We will stagger all year, and the schedule will not adjust if we have snow or unexpected days out. After dismissal, students will be asked to go straight to their bus, car, or their athletic or activity designation. We ask that students not congregate. Students will be asked to clean out lockers the first week and a half of school. Students that desire a locker will need to opt in before September 9th by completing the Google form linked by a QR code. Mrs. Borders and Mrs. Lippin will work together to reassign lockers and ensure that they are socially distanced. Hand sanitizer will be in each room. Lemon Quat, an effective cleaning agent, and towels for cleaning desktops and shared surfaces and equipment will be in each room. Custodial staff will use Quat for hard surfaces every evening. High traffic areas will be cleaned on a regular basis throughout the school day. There will be relaxed tardies, be understanding of capacity limits of bathrooms and time restraints for usage. If concerned about tardy abuse, please work with assistant principals to monitor students' hall traffic. There should be no universal bathroom passes. Issue a new paper pass every time to promote cleanliness. 
relaxed bathroom passes to allow bathroom use and consideration for students honoring the capacity limits posted. Continue to use sign-in and out practices when students leave classrooms. No outside food or special deliveries. Canvas has been designated by the district as the LMS to support student learning. There will be check-ins daily for students. The 2019-2020 closure activity on September 1st. And if you have any questions, see your principal, see your um, counselors, or see your teachers. And we can help you explain and work through and understand so we can take care of each other. We have adjusted our normal three lunch period schedule to accommodate five lunches. All Spartans will have to be in an assigned seat in the cafe to help us create a safety bubble and maintain contact tracing. Students will choose their seat and table to allow for a wonderful social time. Sign-in sheets will be issued for every table to create a seating chart. Lunch supervisors will remind students that they should sit in the same place every day per the developed seating assignments. During lunch, students will remain in their seats and be released to classes at the end of the lunch. Traditionally, students congregated prior to lunch dismissal. Of course, students are able to dispose of food and return to assigned seats to enjoy social time with their friends. To promote social distancing, we ask students to sit on the X placed on the seating. Think X marks the spot. Privileged seating is created. To increase spacing, we will offer several additional seating areas. A hostess supervisor will admit students on a first-come, first-served basis to relocate to the activities hallway, learning commons, or courtyard for contact tracing. Get a pass from the pass center located in the back right of the cafe. The first 30 students for each location will be admitted to eat there. Two at a table in the learning commons, three at a table in the courtyard, six with blue, three with brown tables. Tables will be numbered and spacing will be set up for tracing assigning seats. Congratulations, you've made it through your first day of school. And now that you've made it through your first day of school, we got one more order of business and we've got to get you out to your buses in a safe and orderly fashion. In your seventh hour class, you are going to be getting a sheet of paper that has your name, your bus number, and your bus slot. So for those who are new to FHC, let's walk through the process of where our buses are going to be located. At the end of the school day, my slip of paper that I got from my seventh hour teacher says that I need to be on bus slot B5. So I'm going to go to B5 now as we're walking out. We have our administrators and administrative assistants and counselors that are going to be helping you get to those buses. But if I have to get to B5, we walk straight ahead. We make it to the B row. Pass the bait. And then I'm going to make a right in the first bus in the B row here in this second set is B5. B5 is going to work our way back. I go to the bus driver and I ask him, is this B5? And that bus driver will confirm that you are on the right spot for your way home and you will get home safely. Congratulations on making it through your first day of high school.